Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today we are actually going to go through a full restoration on this Thatcher. This is going to be part one. This is a giant back Thatcher I picked up maybe a year or two ago for 40 or 50 bucks running. It probably doesn't run now because I let the gas sit in it like an idiot and I got caught up with um, other stuff. And the sad part is, is that I actually bought an identical Thatcher just like this, just to see how this works. I couldn't find any information on YouTube. And stupid me, I deleted the picture that I had of the model number and the serial number. So do not ask me if I have it. I don't. But if you have it, please post it. Um, that would help me and the rest of the community out because I know other people have this Thatcher. So uh, today I'm actually at my buddy's house. I've been helping him work on it. Uh, he's like my brother from another mother and just check out his setup for the house uh, he has helped me out out mandingo in the past and a few other things that uh, I just don't can't be done in the driveway so uh, yeah so anyway so um, basically what the goal for today is I want to bend out this wheel see how that brackets bent and then I have to weld this this is what controls the height you guys see that? So this goes through here like so. And this is what and this is what I use to lock this in. So we could see here that somebody tried welding this. And it's fairly simple. This broke off. See that? This goes, this actually comes out. And this goes right in here. I think they were trying to nut and bolt, but you can't. The spring loaded thing. So like I said before, I bought another Thatcher so I could compare and I ended up selling it. And then I deleted the model and the serial number picture. So do not ask me if I have it. Um, but if you do, please post it. This will help me out greatly and other people within the small engine community. So. All right. So as you guys could see, prepped the metal for welding. No paint. Also got a full faith, it's good enough ground here. And uh, where did this go? So, should go like so. Gonna throw a couple of tacks. And then we're gonna throw a good bead on there. So I think it's hard, really hard to see where this lined up if it went straight, but I think it's just, this one just straight up and down. I don't think this is on an angle of some sort so uh yeah he has two all this here he has a millimatic 212 and he also has for taking i don't i mean i know how to take i haven't mastered it yet so i'm not going to mess around with it but i'm going to throw a couple of burns of 212 as you guys know i use the mill weld pack at the house with great success but i'm not at half i'm not at the house and i'm trying to make the most out of my time so uh let's get this done all right, guys, success. Just take a look at this beautiful welding helmet. Very similar to mine. We both run the Miller Digital Elite. We are not sponsored. My only suggestion is with welding helmets, you only get one set of eyes. Do not cheap out on it. Very well worth it. We both run the American flag. His is a little bit more 3D than mine. He's got some black and gold trim. But anyway, check this out. Success. Success. I don't know if I could pull this up at the same time. Notice I didn't plan on doing this today. But as you guys can see, it's holding. Perfecto. So now, you have to bend this wheel out. And we're good to go. Little heat will take care of that. And he has torches here somewhere. I know he does. So, yeah. Definitely making progress. Hopefully, if, as soon as I should have this thing ready for paint, hopefully by in the next day or two. You know, I can't do nothing crazy because I'll be helping him. But the goal is to, like I said, get all this nonsense rectified. I might have to get new wheels. I'm really not upset. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely going to have to get new wheels. Right, yeah, no big deal. We'll get new wheels for this thing. And uh, we'll go from there. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. This is going to be part one for the general walk around. Uh, the next thing will be just, you know, getting this machine ready to go before I start stripping it down and uh, painting it. All right. 
I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pate's Performance.